Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. WFIL and Peter Paul have the tickets, and you can get them just by sending in Peter Paul candy wrappers. It's simple. Just send 10 wrappers per ticket from any regular Peter Paul candy bar. Powerhouse, Mounds, Almond Joy, Cluster, Caravelle, and York Mint Patties, or two potty bags from the bite-sized Peter Paul candy. Send to WFIL Peter Paul Concerts, 4100 City Line Avenue, Philadelphia. Be sure to include your name, address, and phone number. Limited tickets available for any given concert, so we reserve the right to choose your ticket according to random availability on upcoming concert. WFIL and Peter Paul Concert Ticket Giveaway. We exchange tickets for rappers. Get yours today. Well, our 56... WFIL with the Bay City Rollers and Saturday night. Very cloudy and windy with a chance of a snow flurry. But uh, it looks pretty good out there right now. Clearing skies later on. Tonight, fair skies, diminishing winds, and tomorrow mostly sunny. I'll be high today about 39. Have we got some things for you? We're going to have one sweet weekend on WFIL. Sweet is coming to the Tower Theater on February 13th. And to celebrate, we're giving away sweet samplers of their newest capital LP, Desolation Boulevard. A t-shirt, one sweet necklace, and you may even win a pair of tickets to see their free Valentine. Your community newspapers working for you. The Tri-County News, The Key, The Overbrook Advisor, The Northeast Bulletin, and The Northeast Weekly. Five papers which give you Philadelphia. Big community news. If you have business or community news and want your community to know about you, give us a call. We'll make you a part of your area. Just dial TR8NEWS. We'll make it work for you. And wait till you catch this week's issue. It's another episode in the amazing adventures of Scooperman. Hey, Dr. Flavor, I know you're the world's foremost ice cream scientist. Uh, it's the gamma rays from Flavor Bubble. Gamma rays? Holy cow, Doc. Tell them about our Briar's ice cream. The mighty jet cycle whipped the cream. What jet cycle? I'm not bragging that our Briar's ice cream is Mr. Fantastic. Simply natural. Jumping Jimmy's Doc, it's all natural. Where's your headquarters, Scoop? The Scooperman's headquarters is in the Bowen Park Shopping Center on Ford Road. Stop in for some super cream, Doc, okay? Roger, Scoop. <laughs> Tell me that you're leaving I can't believe it's true Fifty six WFIL Neil Sedaka and breaking up is hard to do. Tiny time at eleven ten. WFIL all hit music time. There's a whole new way to fight pimples. It's called mud. M U D D. Mud. 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 Mud helps open up your pores. Most pimple products try to fight pimples after they form. Mud goes after pimples before they start in clogged pores. Mud. 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 Mud helps open up your pores. Mud goes on wet and gooey. As it dries, you can feel mud working, tightening, drawing, pulling. Mud, 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 mud helps open up your pores. And the oils and gunk that cause pimples get a chance to get out. Before
before your skin breaks out. Mud, 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 mud. WFIL 6th Annual Bridal Fair is coming March 13th and 14th to the beautiful Valley Forge Music Fair. Experts will be there for a panel discussion, displays of wedding cakes, formal attire for the groom, invitations, photographs, flowers for lovers, bridal gowns, and a trousseau fashion show will be presented by Strawbridge and Clothier, whose bridal fashion shows have won national awards for the past five years. Thousands of dollars in free prizes will be awarded to the bride-to-be. The grand prize being a 1976 Chevrolet Monte Carlo Landau from Bud DeFeo Chevrolet Oldsmobile of Kennett Square. Plus, $2,500 in furniture from Society Hill Furniture, 1033 Chestnut Street, Philadelphia. All the excitement and glamour of bridal fair is free, but it is by invitation only. So get your invitation today. Write your name and address on a postcard and mail it to Bridal Fair, WFIL Philadelphia, 19131. Now you'll be happy to notice that the TNT Sales Corporation is a participant in this year's Bridal Fair, registered to be invited at 441 Ivy Land Road in Warminster, home of American Manor and Reynolds China and Crystal. It's 1112, 30 in Philadelphia right now. Clearing skies later on at a high near 39. Glenn Campbell. Galveston, oh Galveston. had damn well better do something to restore credibility to our major responsibility, which is to provide a good public school education to the children of New Jersey. This voice, headline, WFIL News, Lori Lipton reporting. New Jersey Republican Senator Raymond Bateman speaking at the New Jersey Education Association's annual legislative conference about the problem of funding education in the Garden State. Judith Owens, the president of NGAA, says the legislature should postpone its scheduled February recess and take care of this problem. NGAA will not tolerate the changing of the three R's of read and write and arithmetic into the three R's of retrenchment, regression, and renunciation. Despite the mess we're in, your legislators are about to leave Trenton for a long recess and leave the crisis in the last of the Appropriations Committee. Don't let them get away until they fulfill their duty. Governor Brendan Byrne was also there and said he was sick of do-nothing legislators who talk a lot. I am disturbed by members of the legislature who mouth support for a program for education and mouth support for a funding formula for that program. Yes, who even mouth support for a state income tax and at the last minute, at the critical time, when it comes time to pull down a switch and turn on a green light and vote yes, they back away. Meanwhile, representatives of 4,000 striking teachers and of the Newark, New Jersey School Board say they have reached agreement on a contract that could reopen schools tomorrow. Ratification votes will be held later today. Next up, Philadelphia Police Commissioner O'Neill says that if God had intended women to become beat cops, he would have made them as strong as men. 56 News Time, 1117. Here's another letter I got. Say, uh, Dear Wolfman Jack, I use a cleanser and I use Clearasil. Does that mean I'll stop getting pimples? Signed, Judy. Well, I tell you, Jude, there ain't nobody but nobody can give you a miracle cure for pimples. No way. The only thing that cures pimples once and for all is time. Of course, you don't want to let those pimples run wild either. So you keep doing like I've been telling you. Use a cleanser to keep clean. And when those pimples pop up, and you just know they're going to pop up, you hit them with clear seal. Because clear seal dries up acne pimples and helps heal them up. Another thing here, too, you know that oil you sometimes get with pimples? Well, Clear Seal's going to soak that stuff up for up to six hours. That's right. So when you put it to the pimples, you spread some Clear Seal anywhere you got that oily skin. Make your Clear Seal do double duty, Judy. <laughs> Clear Seal vanishing formula works invisibly. Regular tinted blends easily with your skin. The city of Philadelphia faces a crucial sex discrimination case tomorrow in federal court involving two suits filed by the U.S. Justice Department and policewoman Penelope Brace. Barring a last-minute settlement, the city will have to defend its admitted practice of not hiring women supervisors as beat cops. Police Commissioner Joseph O'Neill, in remarks many may say come straight from the mouth of an MCP, says that discrimination against women police officers is justified because God, in his wisdom, made them different and in such a way that they can never become good beat cops because they're not as strong as men. Pennsylvania Governor Milton Schaap says he will not enter the North Carolina primary, making an earlier announcement from his campaign manager official. President Ford, meanwhile, continues his campaign swing in New Hampshire, 
Sport aides are claiming the president has a slight edge in that primary race. Roger Gittins reports. President Ford's political advisors are the first to admit the race is tough and tight. Peter Kay, spokesman for the Ford Campaign Committee, says the outcome depends on the turnout. He claims the president has the numbers, but adds there are many uncommitted voters. But in those terms, Mr. Ford's schedule is short on contact with the general public. He's doing a lot of driving around, and Saturday's appearances were restricted to closed groups of local officials and Chamber of Commerce members. Sunday, there's a news conference, a handshake with campaign workers, and a session with university students. The town meeting, Cracker Barrel style of politics practiced in this state is hard to adopt to a presidential campaign. But if victory depends on the turnout, the weekend's numbers don't favor Mr. Ford. Roger Gittins with the president in Nashua, New Hampshire. The family of seven, including five children, was killed today in a house fire in Warren, Pennsylvania. Tragedy also in New York City, where a cave-in at the site of a three-alarm fire and several tall stars has left three firemen dead and four others injured. And 11 cousins ranging in age from 4 to 18 were killed last night when their crowded camper truck was hit broadside by a freight train traveling 50 miles an hour over an unmarked southern Illinois railroad crossing. One adult was also killed and four others injured. In sports and college basketball, in a Palestra twin bill, Villanova beat West Virginia 75-58, Penn with Columbia 94-70, Earlier in the day, Temple lost to South Carolina, 65-58. Delaware down Bucknell, 84-73. Top-ranked Indiana beat Michigan, 72-67 in overtime. Notre Dame wiped out Davidson, 117-74. And Rutgers dumped Navy, 86-71. In the NBA, the 76ers take on Buffalo this afternoon at the Spectrum and hope to snap a five-game losing streak. In hockey action, Ross Lonsberry and Gary Dornhofer scored two goals each to face the Flyers to an 8-2 win over St. Louis. Ending the Blues' four-game unbeaten streak, the Flyers meet the Islanders tonight. The United States has collected another medal from the win. <laughs> FM 98, Glory Gaynor, never can say goodbye, future gold. Uh, the trivia question tonight at 835-6550 and toll-free from Jersey at 757-104. I want to know who wrote the song and two other artists who had hit songs with that tune. Chances.